This video explains why horses choke and lists things that you as the owner can do to help a choking horse and ways to prevent it from occurring. When a horse chokes, it is not a respiratory emergency like in humans. In horses, choke occurs when feed material becomes lodged in the esophagus, not the windpipe. This is a distressing and potentially dangerous situation, but the horse can continue to breathe while it is choking. There are three main anatomical reasons why horses are prone to choke. We will discuss each of these three reasons. One of the reasons horses are prone to choke is the fact that the upper two-thirds of their esophagus is lined with striated muscle tissue. Striated muscle tissue is able to push the food along the esophagus. Horses that are greedy eaters that eat too quickly are able to push partially chewed and dry feed material down into the lower part of the esophagus. This brings us to the second reason why horses are prone to choke. The fact that the lower portion of the esophagus is lined with smooth muscle, not striated muscle. A horse is not able to consciously contract smooth muscle to continue pushing feed along the gastrointestinal tract. Additionally, this distal portion of the esophagus also has a more horizontal orientation, making it less likely for gravity to assist with digestion. This brings us to the third reason why horses are prone to choke, the cardiac sphincter. The cardiac sphincter is a tight muscular band separating the esophagus from the stomach. The purpose of this sphincter is to prevent the backflow of stomach acid from the stomach into the esophagus. The cardiac sphincter in horses is tighter than in any other species. The sphincter acts as a one-way valve that opens as feed material presses against it. Improperly chewed dry feed material will become impacted in the lower portion of the esophagus before the cardiac sphincter is able to dilate and allow its passage into the stomach. The horse in this video is a greedy eater who bolts her food very rapidly. She was found in the pasture standing with her head up even though there was food available. This behavior was very atypical for this mare and suggested an underlying problem. When examined, it was obvious that the mare was in distress. On closer examination, you could see foaming saliva and feed material coming out of the mare's mouth and nostrils. Other signs of choke include coughing or retching, pain on palpation of the esophagus, pawing at the ground or the face, and sometimes even backing away from the discomfort. Once you have recognized that your horse is choking, what should you do? Many horses that are choking are able to resolve the impaction on their own, typically in less than 30 minutes. During this 30 minutes, you should remove any source of food from your horse because unfortunately not all of them are smart enough to stop eating once they start choking. If the horse will tolerate it, you can gently massage the neck starting at the throat latch and moving your fingers down the esophagus towards the chest. This can help push the food bolus against the cardiac sphincter and allow it to enter the stomach. If the choke has not resolved within 30 minutes, you need to call your veterinarian. Things you should not do when your horse is choking include sticking a hose into your horse's mouth or attempting to pass a nasogastric tube on your own. As the esophagus is blocked, anything that you put into your horse's mouth will not be able to go into the stomach and may instead pass into the lungs, resulting in aspiration pneumonia. Attempting to pass a nasogastric tube can also result in perforation of the esophagus if too much pressure is applied. To relieve this horse's impaction, it was necessary for the veterinarian to pass a nasogastric tube. A nasogastric tube is inserted into the nostril and passed to the back of the throat where it is swallowed by the horse and fed down into the esophagus until it reaches the impaction. The horse must actively swallow the tube so that it passes into the esophagus, otherwise it will pass into the windpipe. 
light sedation is typically required for the horse's cooperation. Smooth muscle relaxants and anti-inflammatories are also given to assist with the passage of the nasogastric tube. Once the impaction is reached, water is lavaged in and out of the tube until the impaction breaks down and is able to be pushed into the stomach. During the lavage, the horse will cough, retch, and extend its neck as feed material comes out of the nostrils and the mouth and the lavage tube. Certain feeds are more likely to result in choke than others. Extruded pelleted feeds, such as senior feeds or beet pulp, are designed to crumble and expand with the addition of minimal water or saliva. If not chewed properly, these feeds can start expanding as the horse is swallowing them and become stuck before reaching the stomach. It is a good idea to rehydrate compressed dehydrated feeds or haze prior to feeding to avoid choke. Certain horses are prone to choking regardless of the diet they are fed. Horses that bolt their food and do not chew properly are more likely to choke. These horses should be separated from other horses when feeding so they do not feel compelled to rush. Older horses with dental disease are similarly likely to choke as they are unable to chew adequately. Regular dental examinations and corrective work should be a routine part of your horse's health care.